Hello, I'm Jack Leeser. In today's video, I'm going to play with Salisi here. She's a two-year-old Frisian that came yesterday. And she's just come pretty much from out of the pasture. The owners raised her from a baby. And she seems like a really sweet girl. And so what I wanted to do today was just play with, can I get her to connect with me, stay with me, be with me. She's a real friendly girl, but you know, she'd never left home. This is her first time for, for leaving. And so her mind's really out and about a lot. So I was just going to play with her to say, hey, I'm over here. How can I get her to come back to me, to connect with me? And so this is kind of like a, you know, getting the horse to respond to me through me putting a feel out to them and eventually getting, getting her to stay with me as I go places. So she's coming up, hanging out with me now, and this is good. So can I rub on her and just make it a good thing? The big thing that I notice with her just a little bit that I've handled her is she's kind of pushy. So she'll want to get in my space. She's not really bothered by anything, but she gets into my space. So I'm going to have to watch that. And I'm also going to have to watch, so like there she, she steps into me. So I put a little feel with my hand and my actually my fingernail and just say, no, no, don't step into me. Don't push on me. Because with the young horses, it, it's a big thing for them because they've really never had to mind or pay attention that much. They've been able to do what they want. Yes, the other horses in the pasture have kind of said, hey, move here, move there. But if she didn't like it, she'd just leave. When they're coming into our world, and now she's having to set up and start working and doing some things, it changes. Her want to be with me isn't gonna be necessarily as strong in the beginning because we're starting to ask some things of her. But once she figures it out, it should get stronger. She should go, hey, I actually like this, I enjoy this, this is fun for me. And so that's what I want to do here is just show you how can I make moving her feet fun and starting to get control over those feet and letting her play as we do this. But through that play, I'm going to develop a connection, develop some respect with her to where she'll connect up with me and go along. So that's what we're gonna go out and play with. So the first thing we do is just turn her loose. We paneled off half of the arena here just so we could film it. And I'm just letting her out there, move around, do what she wants to do. And then after a few moments of that, I'm going to go out and see if I can connect or I should say, see if she can connect back to me or can I start holding a conversation with her? So really from, from here to her, could I reach out and say, hey, I'm over here. So I'm gonna be doing lots of, hey, I'm over here. And I'm gonna do that by throwing an intent, throwing some life out there. And usually that's towards the hind end. So there's two main things I'm going to be doing lots of in this exercise is throwing an intent, saying, hey, move that hind end. Usually it's a hind end, but sometimes it's other parts. And then it's going to be a receiving. Hey, would you like to come to me? So I have to really change my body posture, but it's not, it's not even so much my body posture as it is my intent. It's kind of like, you know, a child that's just done wrong and you're having a stern look or a stern intent at them when they, when she runs away. And then when she checks in, it's, I'm inviting them in. It's like I'm opening my arms up for that hug, allowing the child to come in and hug me. 
So I'm going to be playing with that as I'm doing this here. And I can use a lead rope or I've got a stick and string here that I'm using. So I'm just going to start saying, hey, I'm over here by throwing an intent out at her hind end. And I keep getting closer and closer until I get a response. She actually just started moving forward, so I'm just going to stay with her. But I'm looking for her mind to connect back to me. And as soon as she looks in, I invite. So I'm inviting in. She totally leaves. Then I'm going to there. She invites. So then I receive her. I say, hey, would you like to come join me? She says no. So I'm going to step on up towards the hind end. Say, hey, here I am. And I'm just going to walk after her. In the beginning, I'm, I'm not going to do a lot of speed with it. And even later on, I may not, but I may. So it's right now, it's just, can I stay connected? Can I get a conversation going with her? Through throwing an intent, as soon as she checks in, I soften and say, hey, would you like to participate? Would you like to join in in this conversation? She says, no. So I step on up, say, hey, here I am. I'm watching her eye. I'm watching where her mind goes. So the more her mind checks out, the more intensity or the closer I'm going to get. The more she checks in, she looks at me, she receives me, I'm going to go, ah, oh, here I am, would you like to come join me? <laughs> She's like, oh, maybe you can put the halter on and out, maybe not. And then I send her off. So it allows her to play in this process. So I can uh, move her around, but if she needs to romp around or have a good time, that is fine. And that's what I like about this exercise with the young horses, is it, it's not so demanding of them. They have some say in the conversation. If she doesn't really want to participate in the conversation, she can leave. And then we just keep going. And then as she goes off, I can just kind of play with her a little bit. And allow her, and as she checks in, I say, hey, here I am. And I'm not going after her like you get over here. It's more like, hey, would you like to find me? Would you like to be with me? So it's a, a little cat and mouse, if you will. Keeping that play going. Getting her mind to check in with me. So there I'm coming up. I was going towards her hind end. She checked in with me. I said, hey, would you like to? She said, no. So then I go on towards her hind end and say, hey, would you like to come join me? She says, no, I'd rather play with the dog. And I'm like, hey, here I am. Ah, thank you. And so I just back up, keeping her coming to me. If she quits, but she's still facing me, then I'm going to throw a little intent at her hind end to say, here I am. If she leaves, then I say, oh, I'm going to tag you. I'm going to get you. And I'm just stepping up towards the hind end. Throwing that intent, looking for her mind to check in with me. Ah, there was a tiny bit. And every time she does, I soften, I back up. And there she leaves. There she checks in. And there she leaves. 
So it's lots of life up, life down. Saying, here I am, up oh, if you leave, I'm gonna put a feel on you. Getting, getting her mind to come back. And she's a very inquisitive girl. So she doesn't get bothered by a lot, but she's just real curious. You know, she's, she's never been out of her pasture. She's like, hey, what is all of this stuff around here? And so I just keep that conversation going, saying, here I am. Yeah. And that was really nice. So can she come up to me, but not through me? So I don't want her coming in and then pushing me over, but this was pretty nice. We'll see if she will stay with me. So I just hang out here, really reward her for finding me, saying, ah, oh, this is the deal. And then I'm going to just back off a little bit, talk to the hind, and say, hey, can you turn and keep with me? So the more the horse connects with you, the more you can do with them. Or the safer, the better the relationship is, the more things you can do. It's just like with a human relationship. You don't ask the on the first date for your date to come home and, you know, take out the trash or do things like that. You have to develop that relationship first before you can ask for more complicated things. So I'm just slowly saying, hey, you found me, but can you move your hind in away from me now? Move your hind in away, keeping your mind connected to me. She says, oh, nope. And she leaves, so I just lightly tag her, saying, oh, I'm gonna get you if you leave. and keep that conversation alive. Can I stay present in this arena the whole time? Another way to look at it is, is can I fill this whole space up with myself and can I disappear in it? So it's that building my, or bringing my life up and drawing it back down again. Ah, there you go. Until she finds me. If her mind leaves, I can step off to her hind end. And if she wants to totally leave, I just tag her lightly, say, ah, oh, I'm gonna get you. What was interesting is she kind of went back and forth. She went from, oh, I'm gonna leave so maybe I'll stay with you. Now she's like, oh, I gotta go run and play. And that is fine. It's actually good. I wanna see a youngster out there playing and having a good time. But I stay here, I stay involved in the conversation. And then when she wants to participate, so let's say you have, you know, if she took off and she's just running around and around, I'm not gonna do a whole lot other than just stay present. And then when she checks back in, then I can get back, engaged back in the conversation. So here I'm just staying present, staying in, engaged in this conversation or staying within it 
she's saying, no, I don't really want to engage in the conversation. Let me just run around. And I'm like, that's fine. And then when she wants to, we will continue in our dialogue. And that's bringing life up, bringing life down, saying, hey, I'm over here. Would you like to find me? Nice release, nice lick and chew. So I'm just receiving her. It's like, hey, would you like to come up and have a hug? Or have a rub? Yeah, nice. And again, this is nice because she came to me, not through me. And just depending on the horse's temperament, some horses that are more shy, they're going to stand farther off. And, you know, confident horses like her, she's like, hey, I'll just come right on in. Saying this is good. So I hang out here, make this a really good place for her. So as I develop in the relationship, in the conversation, so I'm hanging out with her for a bit, and now I'm gonna just kind of step back away from her, inviting her to come to me. So the idea here is, is can I get her mind, then her body, which is her head and neck, and then her hind end, and then her front end. So when she leaves, I'm looking for her mind. As soon as she connects in, it's real good. I invite her into me. And I'm also noticing how every time she come up, comes up, she always wants to put me just in her uh, left eye. So this time I was just saying, no, let's stay right straight in front of me. And again, don't push me through me. Stay back there. And now I'm going to see if I can get her to stay with me, talk to that hind end, and ask the hind to move away while the front end stays here. So I'm saying, hey, would you like to disengage or move that hind? And she says, no, I'm just leaving. And so we'll go back to talking to that hind end, saying, hey, I'm over here. And then she leaves, we can play. She likes to make a little game of it, and that's good. And then I could say, hey, I'm over here, come find me. And as she comes on up, I'm gonna have her come to me, but not through me, and then try to keep her with both eyes on me right now. And now I'll step off to this side of her, talking to the hind end, and she leaves. And bring her right back. Ask her to move out and around. Go for that hind end, invite her back to me. Hey, there I am. And if she gets stuck, I'm going to step off either left or right. I'm not talking to the hind end, saying, Hey, can you keep your mind on me? If you don't keep your mind on me, I'm going to keep going towards the hind end. So eventually, like there, she's wanting to come through me with that shoulder. And I just ask her to move off after she left me. Real sensitive horses, you don't want to do that too much. They just go off, just let them. 
And it's kind of a fine line because if you send them off too much, they don't really want to stay with you. See, and with her, she's moving into the next stage of this. She's figuring things out. So she's like, well, okay, I'll come up to you, but okay, and then I'm gonna leave. So her mind left me. I step off towards the hind end, say, hey, keep your mind with me. And as we progress with this, we're gonna get the mind, the body, the hind feet, and the front feet. Every time she checks in, I'm like, hey, come on over. Love to have you come on over. And we really have to watch our emotions with this because if we get emotional about this or get into, you know, if it takes a while and your horse just isn't wanting to connect up, we start getting frustrated. The more frustrated we get, the less likely the horse is going to want to come to you. So really make sure you're keeping your emotions in check and just you don't care how long it takes. So I talked to the hind end and she chose to just leave. And that time I didn't tag her. I changed it up. So I'm not always doing the same thing. Yes. Saying, hey, here I am. Ah, oh, thank you. As soon as her mind comes to me, I back off, invite her in. There, I actually had a little bit of hind end move. Keep playing with that. Give it some nice movement. Put that hind in again. Oh, and here I am. Keep playing. Because she's not sure that she wants to be playing with this right now. She's like, oh, I've kind of had enough. But I want to get her to the point where she really connects back to me, finds me. Ah, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna leave moving the hind end alone till next time, but I'm gonna just see, can I walk off and have her come along with me? Yeah, what a girl. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then I'm just gonna say, hey, would you like to go f for a little walk?
you can change sides. You don't want to go too far and too long without stopping, rewarding her, really making this a really pleasurable thing. Showing her that if she hangs out here, you know, if her neck's in line with my shoulder, I really like that. That's what I want to show her. This is nice. And I'm able to even start moving her around a little bit, go and come to a halt. So that's a really good place to leave her, is get to the point where they're connecting up, engaging with you. You know, I got to the point where she actually stayed with me, you know, was walking around with me. In the next one, we'll go into, can we start moving that hind end around, moving the front end around, and making it a little bit more complicated, uh, a little more engaging, because if you stay too long just at the simple, they kind of just will check out that way too. So it's always a balancing act of how much do you do? Are you doing too much or are you doing too little? And finding the right amount in there. So, If you like this video, click the share button below or click a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.